Welcome to DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise Tutorial Series. In this video, we are going to introduce Mapping Mission using M3E. Mapping Mission will create flight routes to cover the target area and capture photos during flight. These photos will be used to create a 2D map or 3D model. It is recommended to use RTK for higher accuracy. Mission Area There are two ways to create mission areas. The first way is importing the KMZ file. Tap Flight Route KMZ Import and select the KMZ file from the controller. The second way is creating the area manually. Tap Flight Route Create a Route Mapping and tap the screen for target area planning. You can tap the plus icon between two waypoints to add more boundary points. Or tap the delete button to delete the current point in blue. Tap clear button to delete all points. Mission parameters. Mission name. To manage the missions more easily, it's recommended to name the mission by location, date, and purpose which is the same as the folder name on the SD card. Camera Selection Remember to select the right camera at the beginning. Choose DJI Mavic 3E and Wide in this case. Then, the flight route will be generated automatically. Smart Oblique Smart Oblique can capture photos from different angles to generate a detailed 3D model. You can watch another video to learn more about this. GSD GSD will be calculated from the flight route altitude or terrain follow height. Safe takeoff altitude If there are obstacles between the takeoff point and the mission area, and it is higher than the flight altitude, it's necessary to set the safe takeoff altitude higher than the obstacles to ensure safe flight. Terrain Follow Real-Time Follow By selecting the Real-Time Follow, M3E will use the Downward Sensing System to capture the terrain data and use it for terrain follow flight while keeping enough data accuracy and overlap ratios. You can watch another video to learn more about this. DSM Follow this feature will use the DSM data for terrain follow flight. You can import local DSM files from the controller or download from internet. If you want to download the DSM data from internet, you should keep the area smaller than 4 km squared. DJI Pilot 2 uses Aster GDEM V3 database. If you want to import the DSM file from the controller, you can use a TIFF file generated by DJI Terra 2D Mission. Only geographic coordinate system can be recognized. Then you can set the terrain follow height, which is the distance above the ground. Flight Route Altitude You can set the flight route altitude if terrain follow is not applied. Relative to takeoff point means the waypoint's elevation will be relative to the height of the takeoff point. By choosing ALT, setting flight route altitude and target surface to takeoff point is needed. ASL EGM-96 means altitude above mean sea level using EGM-96 geoid. By choosing ASL, setting the flight route altitude and flight route to target surface is needed. Takeoff speed. Takeoff speed means the speed in horizontal when the aircraft arrives at the altitude and flies towards the start waypoint. You can set takeoff speed to maximum for the best efficiency. Speed. Speed means the horizontal speed when performing the flight route. You can set speed to maximum for best efficiency. Course angle. By default, the course angle will be calculated for the shortest mission time. You can adjust the angle manually if needed. 
Elevation Optimization If you turn on Elevation Optimization, the aircraft will take an extra group of photos to optimize the elevation data. It's highly recommended for surveying and mapping users. Upon completion Upon completion defines the action after the mission is completed. Return to home The aircraft will return to the takeoff point once completing the mission. Return to start point and hover. The aircraft flies to the start point immediately after completing the mission. Exit task. The aircraft exits the mission immediately and hovers in the last waypoint. Land. The aircraft will land in its current location after completing the flight mission. If you take off and land at the same position, it's recommended to choose return to home if you move the aircraft, you can choose Exit Task. Advanced Settings Overlap ratios are critical for the success of reconstruction. By default, the side and frontal overlap ratios are 70 and 80 and can be used for most situations. If the target area is flat, you can set the ratios to 60 and 70 to improve efficiency. For areas with undulating terrain, the ratios can be set to 90 and 90 for a better result. Margin The aircraft will take extra photos outside the edge area by increasing the margin number. The accuracy of the edge area will be improved. Photo Mode You can choose Time Interval Shot or Distance Interval Shot here. For M3E, Distance Interval Shot is recommended. Custom Camera Angle For applications such as solar panel inspection, this feature can be used to orient the aircraft towards the solar panel and adjust the gimbal angle to be perpendicular. After setting all the parameters, tap the Save icon to save the mission. Perform the mission. Choose a wide open area to take off. You can set several ground control points for data accuracy. You can bring up the mission from flight route or use this icon from the flight view. Complete the pre-flight check and mapping checklist. If you use RTK module, make sure the RTK status is fixed before the mission. About camera mode for mapping and surveying S mode is recommended. Make sure de-warping is turned off. Upload the flight mission and the aircraft will take off and perform the mission automatically. When the aircraft arrives the target area, you can adjust the camera parameters if you use S mode. During the mission, pay attention to battery life, RTK status, image exposure, micro SD card storage, obstacle avoidance, and the mission progress. If the mission couldn't be finished in one sortie, you can pause the mission, land the aircraft for battery exchange, and resume the mission. After the mission is finished, land the aircraft and check the status. Then you can transfer the data to a computer. Model Reconstruction You can use DJI Terra to reconstruct a 2D map or 3D model. Tap New Mission, Visible Light, and rename the mission. Click App Folder icon and choose the Mission Folder. You can add Ground Control Point from Aero Triangulation, Advanced, GCP Management for Data Accuracy. Turn on 2D Map or 3D Model and enable the output coordinate system if needed. Then click Start Reconstruction. DJI Terra will start the reconstruction. Thanks for watching.